back. Always one of our favorite rivalry games when South Knox and Vincennes Lincoln square off. Throw out the records as they say the Alices have had to shuffle their schedule a lot this season, but happy to be making the trip over to the Spartan Den this Friday night, where someone is going to get a big win. Third quarter, the Alices led Julius Hardeman the rebound, and he moves it to Ethan Bushy, who spins his way to the basket. That made it 24 22 Lincoln. Following some th free throws, Tristan Worth trains the three. That gave South Knox a 27 24 lead. We don't have plays of the night in basketball, but if we did, I'd nominate this one reverse from Tristan, and the Spartans were good in the third quarter. Then sends Lincoln, though, goes to Hardeman. He's a force down low. That cut their deficit to 32-26. Later, off a miss, Dakota Candler hauls in the rebound and fights to put it back. He is excited about that. They push the lead to seven. The Spartans cheerleaders are certainly happy with how this is going, but it's a rivalry. Lincoln not going away easily. Hardeman again, 34-28 there. Here's number three, Garrett Holscher for South Knox. He was clutch with many contested shots made. 36-28 there, and we'll finish with Worth. Good pass from Candler, and South Knox defeats their rivals 50-45. to These two teams each have a win in the past two years. Certainly an entertaining game between the Alices and the Spartans. How about Vincennes Reve at home tonight hosting Northeast Du Bois head coach Mark Bezzi there looking on. He will like this from Sam Hinkle. Too much space from Sam. And he draws the Patriots closer 16 to 9 in the second quarter. Then it's Isaac Cotter, a freshman who looks for Luke Weiss, a senior who says freshmen and seniors don't get along. And Reve is within striking distance. But you know, Northeast Du Bois is pretty good. Their nickname is the Jeeps. And the Jeeps spoil the night for Coach Busy and the guys. But it was close. 33-25 the final. Grant. Thanks, Omar. Great stuff. The North Knox Warriors picked up a 16-point win against Shoals one week ago. Tonight, they are back in Bicknell, looking to get back to the 500 mark on the hoop season, hosting Pike Central. And this one, how about let's start off the game with a slam. Ian Kixmiller says hello. Dunk of the night alert shot by our own Ashley. Take a look at the replay. North Knox, they've got some scrappy guys. They play basketball. They play football. How about the replay coming out with a dunk and flexing their muscles against Shoals? How about later on, Holtman Doe? Lays it up and in. No one's going to block him then. We've got to have a red shear and highlight to what he is wide open. Sinks the three, nothing but nylon. Last but certainly not least, Reese Hamelman wide open. Bang, he connects with ease. How about the Warriors? They are shooting lights out. They get a big win at the end of this night. 62 to 45, the final as we throw it to the scoreboard. Terre Haute South comes up short tonight on the road at North Putnam, but shout out to Ed Jarvis, the South AD. They just added that game at 9 p.m. last night. They needed to pick up a game, so to North Putt. They go to North Putt, come up short. Hey, and how about Lagodi? We didn't, we didn't make it to Lagodi tonight, but Lagodi tomorrow night against Bloomfield. We'll have you covered. Should be a good game. Yeah, and also game Lagodi girls and Linton tomorrow. That should be a very good game. A lot of Lagodi. A lot of Lagodi tomorrow. tomorrow. Hey,